Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 things that you're actually doing wrong on your iPhone. So of course you want to start this video by doing the right thing and one of them is leaving a like on this video. That really helps out a lot so make sure you go ahead and leave a like and here are 15 things that you're actually doing wrong on your iPhone on a daily basis. First of them is downloading stuff from Safari to your iCloud Drive. So if you don't know this, if you go to settings and you go to the Safari settings, you will have here a section that says downloads. Right here, you can pick where you want to save your downloads. If you have this on iCloud Drive, then it will just fill up your iCloud Drive with files that you download from the internet. Some of them might be large and they will take up space on your iCloud Drive. And if you have the free plan, the five gigs, that will just fill up right away. So what you need to do is go ahead and choose on my iPhone. Of course, nowadays the iPhones have way more storage so you can save your files directly to your iPhone and not on your iCloud drive. Now, if you already have done that and you have downloaded files to your iCloud drive, you want to delete them. The way to do that is by going to your iCloud at the top of the settings app and just go to manage storage right there. And you will see here a section for the iCloud drive. So once this opens, let's just give it a couple seconds here. Here we have iCloud drive and you will see here all the files that you have on your drive. You have the downloads and these are the things that you have downloaded from Safari to your drive. And from here, of course, you can delete all of them or you can just pick whichever one you want and delete them individually. Of course, the most important thing on your iPhone is your data and all that stuff. And of course, you want to keep that private. You enable Face ID, Touch ID or even a passcode. But did you know that someone can have access to a lot of things on your device, even though your device is protected with a lock? So just scroll down here under the Face ID and passcode settings and make sure you don't leave these enabled. You can see right here it says allowed access when locked, which means that anyone can have access to these things right here, even though your device is locked. Starting from the notification center, the control center, Siri, reply with message. So actually someone can reply with a message on a locked device. That's really crazy. And also return a missed call. So what you want to do is just check out these and of course disable the ones that you actually don't want to allow access when your device is locked. Another thing that I suggest you should do, which probably a lot of people are doing wrong and not doing on their iPhone is adding an alternate appearance. Now, basically an alternate appearance will make your face ID way faster. And of course you can give like your iPhone another idea how you look. Maybe you have two different looks like let's say glasses, no glasses, or maybe beard, no beard, something like that. You can go ahead and add that second appearance. And that of course will help face ID work a lot faster. Despite from the apps on iOS, also websites will have access to your location, your camera, your microphone as well. You might be doing the wrong thing and giving all the websites access to your location, to your microphone and to your camera. And with websites, you never know which website you're visiting. So that's kind of risky. So what you need to do is go to settings, go to Safari and right here, you will need to go just lower here and you will have location, microphone and camera. Now, if you go here, you will have to enable ask. Basically, you have three different choices. You have ask, deny, allow. So if you just choose allow, all the websites will be able to use your location. If you choose deny, maybe there's a website that actually you need to have your location enabled for that, of course, won't work as well. So just choose ask. So anytime any website will basically ask for your camera, your microphone or your location. They will have to first ask you before they can have access to those things. The next thing you're doing wrong on your iPhone is draining the battery all the way down. So according to Apple, the sweet spot for the battery is between 20 and 80%. So you should try to keep your battery between those percentages and not let your battery die all the time. That's really bad for the battery and if you leave it like that for a long time, it might damage your battery a lot and maybe even just like kill the battery. It will never turn on again. So according to Apple, if you want to store your iPhone, you should store it at 50% charge. You cannot store it with the battery when the battery is dead because that of course might damage the battery and might not turn on your iPhone ever again. 
One of the most common problems that I see with people on their iPhones is of course storage. If you have an iPhone for a longer period, of course you will have storage problems. And having storage problems is bad for your iPhone. It won't perform as well if you're all the time running out of storage. So this is another thing that people are doing wrong on their iPhone, keeping the storage always filled up. So what you need to do is basically go to storage and see what is taking up space on your device. Here it will show you also recommendations so I can tap on show all right there and the iPhone will show me what I can do to actually reduce the occupied storage on my iPhone. I have here all the apps. I see an app that is taking a lot of storage. I can of course go ahead and delete that app and maybe reinstall it later. So like social apps tend to just consume a lot of storage on your iPhone. So you might want to delete them every once in a while. And then of course reinstall them and free up some storage. Of course you have to review your photos and videos and remove the ones that you don't actually need. Another thing that I've seen a lot of people do wrong on their iPhone is disabling auto brightness. That's a big no, no. Auto brightness is an amazing feature. So basically it will adjust the brightness based on the ambient light you're on. You are in a dark environment. Of course, the brightness goes down automatically. That's an amazing feature. And keeping this on manual, of course, it's very hard to actually adjust it based on your on the ambient you're on. And probably most of the time you will have the brightness turned on more than you actually need. That way you will drain the battery really, really fast. Now when talking about batteries, optimized battery charging is one of the best features that Apple has added to iOS in the last few years. So basically this will help your battery in the long run. I see a lot of people disabling this because they're, they're just afraid that they won't be able to charge their iPhone at 100%, but this does the work just good, really, really good. Just give it some time, like a week or so. It will just learn your pattern, how you work and how you use your iPhone and you will have always battery. And in the long run, this will be very good for the battery life of your iPhone. The next wrong thing that you're doing on your iPhone is not utilizing the dark mode, especially if you have an iPhone with an OLED display. That of course will help you a lot. It not just looks good, but it will also just save a ton of battery. So on OLED displays, all these dark spaces are pixels that are actually turned off. So this display is not turned on everywhere here, right here, right here, it's turned off. That means that it will save a lot of battery. Not updating your device is another wrong thing that you do. Don't keep a badge here. Don't keep a notification on your settings. Always update your device to the latest software. It is pretty simple. You can actually just enable automatic updates and you don't have to even deal with it. It will do everything on automatic. Always make sure you install the latest updates, of course, and get all the latest fixes, security fixes and bug fixes as well. Giving access to your location to a lot of apps and some people, maybe all of the apps that they have on their device, it's not good. It's not good for your privacy and it's not even good for the performance and battery life of your device. Location services just consumes battery like crazy. Always make sure that you go to your location services and the best thing is to, to do is to turn it off completely if you don't actually need it or just go ahead and review your apps and see which apps have access to use your location. And of course, turn off the ones that you don't need. Another thing that you'll probably dismiss and not even care about is notifications. Now, every time you install an app, they just ask you for to allow notifications, stuff like that. They will just send a ton of notifications, which actually consume quite a lot of battery and data as well. Make sure you always go ahead and check out your apps and see for which you have notifications enabled. There are apps that you don't actually need to have notifications for them, so just go ahead and disable them from here. Another wrong thing that you're doing is disabling auto lock on your device. You go to brightness, display and brightness, and right here you will have auto lock. If you keep this at never, this will basically risk your device and your data. If you just don't lock your device, you leave it on a table or somewhere, it will stay unlocked. So with 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, or whichever one of these, you will have your device more secured as it will automatically lock in that time. And that of course will save you 
quite a lot of data that you might have on your device and have at risk if you just leave your device somewhere unlocked. The next wrong thing you're doing, and I do this every day, all the time, is closing apps from the background. According to Apple, this will not help to reduce basically battery drain or stuff like that. It's just bad for your device. It's better to have apps there. So RAM management on iOS is pretty good. So it will manage your apps here. They are like in the background. And once you want to open them, you just have them and they're right back here. If you just completely close them, then iOS will have to actually reload these apps from the beginning. And that, of course, will just take more CPU power that way, more battery life as well. So always keep your app, especially those that you use daily, running in the background, don't close them from the app switcher. And last but not least, not cleaning your charging port. This is a very important part of your iPhone and of course is the part that will just take the most like dust and stuff like that because it's all the time somewhere it's in your pocket and places like that. Of course, it will just collect a lot of dust and a lot of stuff here. Just take something like a toothpick or something and make sure you gently like just move it around here and remove any dirt or anything that's on the charging port. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 15 things that you're actually doing wrong on your iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys on the next one.